welcome back to another video as always as recently it's been a minute but if you've missed me that's about to be no more because well everything decides to happen at the exact same time so the audi's broken i'm moving the forester's broken the square back is now running and driving and we're about to go take that to get tires forester is in shambles and we have scrape fest in like a month or two months. We got like two months. We got two months to get that ready and it is awful. And the Audi has a cracked oil pan and it's sitting in my new house already on jack stands. I haven't even fully moved in yet. And, ooh. I haven't even fully moved in yet, as you can see, because there is more stuff in here than usual. And yeah. Tires. We're gonna go get tires on the square back right now. Cross that off the list. <laughs> Look how tiny these are. They're 15 inch. I'm sure the wind noise is horrible. I'm so sorry for the wind noise. Well, winter was hard to film. I didn't really have much to film and I was doing a lot of things behind the scenes, so. Fun fact, you have to run bigger rear tires than fronts or else the car will sit like this. Volkswagen things. It's also like not fully registered yet. Oh, I'm losing them. It is just got tip tags. So I gotta go in the DMV, but I gotta finish. I gotta finish moving first. I just realized you are probably already typing in the comments what's broken on the floor, sir. I will get into that later in the video. I promise. We just I gotta hurry and get this done. All right, rear tires. Check. Front tires. Check. Blinker fluid. Check. I actually just drove this thing a half hour home from work, so. If it's, if it's not working right now, I'd be quite upset. drop when I turned on the headlights? Oh no. All right, I'm gonna put the phone down because this is the most terrifying thing I have ever driven in my entire life. I'll right, we'll get a little bit of pain. We gotta, we gotta load it up. Bro, W in the chat, I had no idea it had disc fronts, that's freaking wild. She's not a 70, boys. She's a 69. Funny number. Okay. 
Plushies. I still don't know what I'm gonna do about wheels on the thing. Hell yeah. Bro, bicycle tires. Pointed out looks just like bicycle tread. It does. Are these wheels, were the front wheels smaller than the rear wheels? Yeah, they're staggered. They're staggered? Yeah. Huh. Straight up bicycle. <laughs> Let's see. Sam, let me use his tools to put my seatbelts in. Now I might not die. I wonder how much better this will be driving with seatbelts. Okay, hold on, I gotta, I gotta two hand this one. Yeah, we'll lap out, we'll whisper. That makes me feel good. I don't think it was clicked in all the way. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, bro. Yeah. I feel solid now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I was so scared driving this thing with those tires. Yeah, we're good. Will she start? There we go. Hell yeah. difference already and it's dark so we're gonna get this home we got Clayton following me should be good oh yeah we'll see how getting out of this is you that I would go through what's broken on Granda so we're gonna do that real quick so the clutch is still slipping I did find out that the clutch wasn't adjusted properly did find some air in the clutch again we had to re-bleed it a couple more times got some more air out but I just think even after all of that it's already way too gone to even be usable anymore it's been slipping ever since I put it in and I've just been trying to make it work to get through the winter so we're gonna end up having to pull the transmission again replace the clutch flywheel pressure plate I'm just gonna do it all, all over again and find something that'll actually hold the power and the torque or whatever it's making uh the map sensor is now throwing a code i think it might have over boosted or it might have just a bad math in all honesty so i'm gonna clean it and reflash and see if that works or just may need a new map and the up pipe is leaking so badly you need to notch the frame just a hair more and get the because uh, i think the up pipe is actually resting on the subframe so I actually think I need to maybe carve out my notch a little bit more, maybe make a plate for that, and then probably redo the gaskets on the up pipe to get that fixed because it's leaking so bad. So I don't want to drive the car because if it's leaking pre-turbo, the air fuels are going to be wrong with O2. I just, I've spent so much money on that car. I am not going to blow it up over something so stupid. So I'm just not driving it right now. The square back has the new tires on it now, which is awesome. The new tires and the seatbelts made it drive so much better but there's still so much needs to be done. I actually want to lower the seats and maybe move them forward like an inch, maybe go down an inch and forward an inch just to make it a little better to drive it because it is extremely uncomfortable to drive, even with the seatbelt making it better. If you saw my feet, I was like, to get the clutch all the way in, I am like tippy-toeing it and I'm 6'1", so it's, it is a reach. So I need to, I'm gonna fix that. Can't work on any of the cars today because I have some family plans and as soon as I can get over to the new house with all my extra stuff, and get the oil pan off the Audi and do that. I'll make a video of doing the oil pan on the Audi and explain to you guys what happened this time because it's dumb. It's kind of my fault, kind of not my fault. It's it's kind of funny. 
So I'll, I'll explain to you guys that when we do a video on that and just when we get moved into the new place, it's going to be rad. Granda is going down as soon as we get moved into the new place and I get the Audi out of the garage ready to drive again. The Forester is going on jack stands and it is getting completely redone. The three-piece wheels are going on. The new tires are going on. I'm redoing the whole body kit. We're repainting the rear quarters, the fenders. We got to redo some of the interior. It is a lot to get done. So wish me luck and watch the videos, please. That would be sick. I love you all. Peace.